After the lengthy banning process, we're going back to the stage that would the only stage that has been legal the entire time. So we're gonna do a neutral start here. Okay. So I've seen CTG and Stevie G play before and Fire Blaster and Kaz. I respect all their play a lot. I expect high level from all players on the street on the screen right now. Ooh. Oh my god, already Stevie G with a great combo. But it didn't matter much. Red team is a little higher percent, but not by much. Jigglypuff off stage, but he gets back no problem. It's a little bit scary when all the non-Pikachus are off stage. You have to consider that uh, every character but Pikachu is uh, very easy to get. Pikachu, you can try to give him over and over again and he'll still get back. But like a character like Jigglypuff, like the third and fourth jumps and fifth jump don't actually push her, her up very much, so she dies pretty easily when she's being comboed. Oh, the Nair on teammate! Oh, and, and just like that, Jigglypuff takes her first stock down. And so does Blue, Blue's down two stocks now. Red with a solid lead. Good stuff for them. Oh, and the, this edge guard right now is so crisp. Oh, and good stuff from Fire Blaster to recognize that uh, he couldn't act after, be, after grabbing. Oh, he, he, he seems to be consistent with that. He's always getting the, the revenge throws, as I like to call them. Oh, good back throw by Jigglypuff. Oh, another one. Two kills by Jigglypuff. Two quick ones. And we're back at an even game, except by percentage. All right, so it looks like both teams are just kind of... Oh... Player one drifted in very hard there. And he got punished for it. Oh, but now blue team is off stage. He gets back no problem though. Uncontested. A little bit, I think a little bit of lack of coordination from red team there. Oh, couldn't edge guard the JB Puff and instead gets comboed. And the up smash off the top will do it. Red down to four stocks. Oh! But blue down to three. Red keeping this like half stock lead consistently. Semi consistently. Oh man, the back throw. Blue is taking control of the situation right here. Not killing though. And red is like just holding on by their teeth every stock. Oh, that'll do it. Now it's just player two. Kaz. Kaz at high percent. He's got to be careful. Oh, oh, no rest. No rest on Fire Blaster. But Kaz sacrifices his life to stock. Thunder, consecutive thunders on, on Jigglypuff. But I think that kind of sacrificed their neutral against and that's why he died. Okay, but it's Kaz versus two stocks. He can do it because the, the Pikachu's a high percent, you know. As long as he plays solid, he should be able to do something. Oh, oh, and that's it. Great up tilt rest by CTG. So now CTG and Stevie G are once one game ahead. It'd be interesting to see what adaptation Fire Blaster and Kaz have. Both player both teams in deep conversation right now. It wasn't a blowout by any means, so I don't think that there was anything being really done wrong. I do think they went too deep on that thunder the last time. Maybe they just, and maybe a little bit less deep on the edge guards on CTG, because they weren't really, it wasn't really rewarding them.
All right, so we're back into it. No changes, going back to Dreamland. Neutral start, and we're into it. Ooh, ooh, great start from Red Team. They got a solid 20%. Oh, but Jigglypuff, great combo on uh, Blue Team just has control right now, actually. Red quickly turning the tables on him, though. Oh, not quite. Oh, and that's the gip I was talking about. It's really scary for Jigglypuff to be off stage. That's why, I, in my opinion, it's a great idea for um, characters like Jigglypuff to just sit center stage as much as possible. Don't try and do anything risky at all. Oh, here we go. Oh, great job by Fire Blaster. Oh, no, he killed himself. And the back throw, and it's even. Just 50% on uh, Jigglypuff is the only difference. Oh no, team throw, not team kill though. But now they'll be able to edge guard. Uh, not quite. They didn't get any edge guard on, on Stevie G. Stevie G is a really solid player. I, I haven't, I have never heard of him until today, but he's impressing me. Oh, the down air on the right side of the stage, keeping this edge guard alive. Oh, and the up air to finish the stock off. Blue team with the synergy, playing extremely well right now. Oh, now it's five stocks to four. Let's see if blue team can keep the lead. Oh, the up air kick, kick the jiggly pop off stage when he manages to get back, no problem. Back throw, kick him off stage again. But so high up, there's no, he has no problem recovering. Jigglypuff only has a problem recovering when he, uh, when he's low on, uh, if he's below the edge. That's the key to edge guarding Jigglypuff. So as long as Jigglypuff gets knocked up and away, it's fine. Oh, the fade back from P2 baits in the Jigglypuff. Oh, and the Thunder is gonna kill the kill the Pikachu, and just like that, Red Team actually takes the lead. Okay, all right, Red Team beat staying solid, not giving any obvious opportunities to Blue Team. Oh, and great team combo there. Great team combo again. Puts everybody at high percent. Oh, chase down on the, on the Jigglypuff there. Oh, back throw kills, and now it's 1v2. Top platform not punished. Up air not gonna kill. Up air not gonna, oh, that was a back air actually. Down air not gonna kill. Three stocks to one. What can he do here? Oh, the up smash kills a, kill a player, but he's getting up air comboed off the stage. Mm, that'll do it. Up tilt to reverse back air. Stylish ending to what began as a scary game for Red Team. I felt like they kind of stopped running into stuff and started just playing solid, you know? Not being impatient, because and the first game and the first half of this game, maybe they were just kind of like throwing out moves and not thinking too hard. I think they're playing neutral more carefully now. A change from Stevie G or is he just holding his token? Might be that he's just holding his token while he's talking to his team. I think that's what he's doing. It's a very good tactic to make sure that nobody tries to start the game while you are uh, conversing. Pikachu, yeah, that's what I thought. Probably going back to Dreamland too, unless they're going to invoke Dave's stupid rule. Either way, it's a very close set. I can't imagine that they'll, yeah. Right back to Dreamland. 
gentleman's dream was. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Oh, down air on on Jigglypuff, a lot of damage on him already. But we got a Pikachu off stage. Oh, good job on good job on Red Team to save his partner, making sure he's not getting edge guarded anyway. Oh, and Blue Team grabbed his own team, and then the uh, then the Jigglypuff got grabbed too. So a lot of percent on Blue Team right now. No pull, and just like that, one of the Pikachu, the Blue Pikachu is dead. Oh my gosh, he saved his teammate. He came in and befriended the uh, back throw knockback. Good stuff to red team. Ooh, good stuff. Oh no, he, he comboed his teammate into the Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff cleaned up the stock. Ooh, up tilts, up tilts. Oh, that was such a sweet up tilt chain. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Here we go. Fourth throw off stage, but nothing doing. Fourth throw again, but the Jigglypuff actually dies while while uh, while that fight's going on. Oh my gosh, what crazy stuff is going on here? And the Thunder to finish off one of the Pikachu's back throw that'll kill. And Blue Team is up another two stocks. It seems like they, they're really good at getting the er lead early game. We'll see if it, they can transfer it into, into the full game again or if, or if they'll get the revenge. Oh, baby. Beautiful uh, conversion there from, from the Jigglypuff. Cleaning up a stock. That's the other thing about having a Jigglypuff on your team. Is that if you get the chance to 1v1 like that, a zero to death is it's always imminent. It's always present. Oh, that's could that could have been another one. Not quite though. That J the CTG is just playing very well this time. Not gonna kill because he was all the way on the left side of the stage. Oh, nice stuff from CTG. He's playing so well right now. Oh, and the back air from player two will finish off the red team's last stock. Or Fire Blaster's last stock. And now it's four stocks to one. Can Kaz do it? Can he make the, the comeback of a lifetime? The comeback of a century? The comeback that your grandma will be telling you about while you're tomorrow because she didn't think you watched the match. He's playing very safe right now, playing very patient from all players actually. Oh, and he gets him off state. That's, oh, not quite enough to do it. Not quite enough. He just, if he can clean up these stocks though. All right, so every time he hits off one player, he can turn it into a 1v1. That's something to note. What's up, dude? Oh, he gets that up smash. We're in this game three situation where Kaz is trying to make a comeback. Um, so what, on zero, um, what Kaz has to do is he has to avoid moves with a uh, long duration, um, such as grab. Oh, and that's it. Oh, not no, quite. No, that's not it. Um, he has to make this back though. Uh, now, yeah, see, oh, uh, grab yeah. was the wrong choice. Um, yeah. Grab was the wrong choice by Kaz. Um, since he chose a move with a longer duration, his, his enemy or his opposition was able to kind of... Yeah, very easily. Yeah. Um,